Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I am back with a new tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how I flat iron my hair. I used the Motions Heated Styles line. I used it while I was transitioning and I still love it now that I'm natural. Shampoo, deep conditioner, and then I am now applying the leave-in conditioner with keratin. So I apply a generous amount all over my head um, and then I am going to start detangling my hair once again. The purpose of detangling your hair a second time before you start the blow drying process is just to make sure that you don't break off any extra hair and that way you lessen the amount of damage that you're doing since I am going to be using quite a bit of heat for this style since this is going to be blow drying and flat ironing. You want to just prevent as much heat damage as possible so make sure your hair is thoroughly detangled prior to blow drying. Then I'm taking Silk Elements Heat Protectant in the olive oil brand because they do have quite a few of the heat protectants, but this is my favorite one. And I'm just going to apply that to my hair as well. Even though I have the leave-in conditioner, I still need a heat protectant. So now I'm just using my dimming brush and my Argan Oil um, one and only blow dryer with the concentrated nozzle to blow dry my hair. And basically what I do is just brush my hair out with the dimming brush and focus the concentrator on the length of my hair. And it kind of stretches your hair. So if you want to stop and style your hair after blow drying, you definitely could. But this way my hair is just more shinier, more stretched, and um, it just makes the process go a lot faster. I'll turn up a little bit when I'm doing my hair because it is a long process and I'm in the bathroom for so long during this. So, you know, you have to turn on your trap music and just turn up. You want to make sure each section of your hair is thoroughly dry because the last thing you want to do is apply direct heat from your flat iron to your hair and you have damp parts that will break your hair off in no time and that's where a lot of people fail to realize that even though your hair is still semi dry if it is not completely dry that flat iron will cause so much damage and so much heat damage to your hair so make sure that you are blow drying your hair in each and every section and make sure that your hair is 100% dry before you start the flat iron process So this is the finished product after my hair is 100% blow dried and I'm going to go in with Silk Remedy which is the generic brand of the Chi Silk Infusion and it is like a quarter of the price and you can purchase this at your Sally's just to save you guys some money. So yeah as you can see my blown out hair is so much fuller, so much longer. I am so excited for my progress and yeah i'm just kind of feeling myself <laughs> so let's just start the flat arm process i like to do the chase method i am still using my red pro titanium flat iron that i bought like maybe three or four years ago and um i am chasing my hair with a rat tail comb i like to do like two or three passes at my roots just because um my roots are a lot more curlier than the ends of my hair it's the older part of my hair it's the driest part of my hair even though i am natural it still remains the same as when i was relaxed so all i do is take a rat tail comb go from the top put my flat iron on and then i basically chase my flat iron with my rat tail comb this just allows everything to be completely smooth and bone straight so this way my hair my flat iron hair can last as long as possible I still love this titanium flat iron but I am kind of in the market for a ceramic one so if you know of any good ones please leave it below 
Now all I'm gonna do is just dust my ends. I'm not doing a full trim, just cutting off any like scraggly ends at the bottom that need to just be gone. And um, I do this every time I flat iron my hair just because I don't flat iron my hair often. And look at those roots, honey. It is so time to re-up on this color. And as you can see, my color is starting to fade. So it is definitely time for me to re-up on that. So I do like to flat iron my hair in very small sections. If I'm gonna flat iron my hair and take the time to do it, I want to make sure every single piece is as straight as possible. The smoke that you see is not from me burning my hair, it is actually from the heat protectant. So don't get, don't panic when you see that when you're flat ironing your hair. You're not burning your hair, it's just your heat protectant doing its job. I actually have my flat iron on about 300 degrees. I do not flat iron my hair at high temperatures. I just feel like I am burning my hair off when I do that. On top of that, I am color treated. If you do not have color treated hair, you can definitely go up on the amount of heat that you use. But if you are color treated, even though you're natural, you still have some damage to your hair. So make sure you're flat ironing at a lower heat setting. I still, um, you know, clip my ends, dust my ends section by section. This is just easier for me and it is a lot easier to dust my ends when I flat iron my hair versus when it's in its natural curly state. So I only flat iron my hair like once, maybe every three or four months. I am not a chronic flat iron. I'm not a chronic heat user, so uh, I don't really you know, have to flat iron my hair, but when I feel like it's time for me to clip my ends or if I just wanna see some progress on, you know, how long my hair is without the shrinkage, then I will flat iron my hair. Okay, so once I am finished flat earning the front of my hair, I like for the side of my hair where I leave the most hair out to kind of frame my face. So I do cut my hair at an angle. This is something that is personal preference. If you go back to some of my later videos, I show you this process as well. But this, like I said, is personal preference. I feel like it suits my face better. And especially when I have my hair in its natural state, the curlier parts at the top just sit a little bit higher. And then I just start going through the back of my hair, making sure that I am cutting off any dead ends because there's no point in holding onto split ends, ladies. Now I am going in with my hot comb and I am just getting those edges, honey, because they curl and frizz up the fastest. So I am just going in with this and this is by Hot Tools. I'll leave a link on Amazon to where you can buy it and just making sure to get the edges of my hair in the front and also in the back. So this is just gonna allow my edges to stay straight as long as possible and it just gets a lot closer than what my flat iron can get. Make sure you get that nape, girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave it below and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.